Hi friends, Mindy here. Welcome back to another installment of Can Mindy Make It? This is the third video in this series so far. If you don't know what that is, I reached out on Instagram and asked for my friends to give suggestions for videos that I might do. Um, maybe things that they had seen or to, you know, something they have come across, one just curious about how to do something or just wanting to see me create something, just kind of giving me um, a challenge. And these have come across in a lot of different ways, everything from junk journaling to, you know, specific Bible entries and just different kinds of things, which is great. I love the variety of suggestions that have been coming in. And so I'm going to be tackling that list. I'm going to try to do this weekly as I can. And um, so some of these challenges have been new to me and some of them are something that I have done and just haven't done in a while. And that is the case with today's video. So um, a friend reached out and asked if we I could do some memory decks cards or some faith decks cards. And if you followed my channel at all um, on Instagram, I have a bunch of projects where I have shared memory decks cards that I have created. Um, I've worked through a book called The Promises of God for difficult times, I think was the name of it. And I went through each one of the promises in that book and I created a card for it. So I included a quote from that day and then at the scripture that corresponded with that promise. And I created these cards out of that. So that was that's one way that you can work through it. Another way that I have done it is um, I used it as a um, like a scripture writing plan and I just created a little card and decorated that for each one of the scriptures I've done an advent um, study in memory decks cards I, I love memory decks cards I think they're great it's a great way to um, just have a little something it's a great way to use up your stash it's a great way to just have a few minutes if you you know don't have a lot of time where you can just sit down and create something if you're feeling kind of stuck you can just create something and it you know especially if you're using your your scraps and things um there's no it kind of takes the pressure off I guess and so I like having these projects that are kind of ongoing that I can just spend a few minutes sometimes when I am just wanting to create but maybe I don't have time to do a full page or anything like that or a full project so what I'm going to be doing today is creating a few memory decks cards um I'm not going to do all of this in one video here, but I'll just kind of give you an idea for what I'm going to be doing. So, um, if you've ever heard, I've, I've heard several people do this. One of, um, the mem most memorable was Priscilla Shire and she actually gave a, a quote about how you can, the 66 books of the Bible and how you can see Jesus in each one of those books and how he's revealed in each one of those books and his title in each one. And so what I want to do, this has been a project I have been wanting to do for quite some time actually, is um, create a memory decks box. So I have this box here. And so I'm going to create a card for each one of the books of the Bible. And um, I'm going to reference his title in that book and a scripture that corresponds with that. And so this is obviously going to take me a while to do, to get through 66 books, but we'll get started today. So this is my memory decks box that I'm gonna be using. I got this online um, from an Etsy shop um, called Precious Memory Boxes. I am not sure if they still have boxes for sale. If they do, I will link them down below, but this is what I'm gonna be using. And I have the um, Heidi Swap memory decks punch. I know for a while it was really hard to get a hold of. I think they've come back in stock and so they're not as difficult, but there are other ways um, around this. If you don't have this kind of punch, um, you can use even just a hole punch and cut out the bottom and do it that way. And that works just fine too. Like this one, um, like I said, I made this box. This was before I had an actual box and before I had the punch as well. And so I just punched little holes in this um, from like a cinch. And then I just made my little sticks to correspond with those holes in there and they just sit on there the same way. So 
there's ways you can do it. You can even just leave the cards loose and not punch holes in the bottom if you don't want to. Um, it's up to you, but there's, of course, the actual memory decks system that you can purchase as well. This is what I will be using, and I will be using this punch, and I'm going to take advantage of the fact that I have a bunch of scraps that I've been wanting to use up. I'm kind of on a mission to do that. So I will be using a bunch of different um, scraps and things, and so I'll just be decorating the card and listing the the title, the name of Jesus in that book, and then um, also including the scripture. So if you have any um, ideas for future videos like this, something that you've seen, it can be anything, you know, paper crafting related. It doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, a Bible journaling page or anything. I do journals and all kinds of things, but um, anything really, go ahead and leave that in the comments down below and I will see what, I'll, what I can do. Um, it's, it's fun to learn new things. I enjoy learning new things and challenging myself. And so I'm really excited about this series and I hope that you all are enjoying it as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put you on fast forward now and I'm going to make a few of these cards and then this will just be a, pro um, a process that I work through periodically until I get all 66 books finished. And so follow me on Instagram. I will, um, post my Instagram handle down below and um, because I'll have pictures as I'm just creating one or two cards here or there I'll be sure to um, put them on my Instagram channel so let me put you on fast forward and we will get to making some of these cards for this project I have chosen to use up my stash so I have various papers from buy the will for God kits from the you know through the years and uh, that's what I'm going to be using. So you saw me um, cutting this down to a finished size of about three and a half by four. These six by eight papers work really well for this project. Um, I am folding them in half just to keep them so that they're nice and sturdy. And so uh, the next thing I'm doing here is using my We Are Memory Keepers tab punch. I'm going to create a little tab here so that I can indicate which book of the Bible this card belongs to. And I'm just going to adhere this one on the inside flap before I glue the front and back covers together. I just wanted a little bit more um, stability. The By the Will for God paper is really great quality paper, but I just um, I just wanted it to, to um, have that extra layer. So I'm also wanting to use up as much as I can of my alpha stickers. I have a lot of these as well through the years because you get a lot of stickers on one sticker sheet. So I'll be using these quite a bit through this project as well. And I created a title for, this is for the card for Genesis when, and the title is um, the seed of the woman. And so I created this on a tag and then I tried to sew it, which is why my sewing machine is sitting out there. Uh, and it did not turn out very well. It got hung up. So I ended up just trimming it down. Um, and now I'm just creating a little a mat for my little tag here just to um, help pull it up off of the page. I really am loving using craft paper right now. So um, I wanted to create the title for that. So I'm just going to tuck that over here in the corner. And again, I went back to the devotional kit that this is from. And I happen to have this little door image that I didn't use. So again, I'm just trying to use up my my stash here. And so I'm just going to quickly use my Heidi Swap um, punch here and punch the holes down at the bottom. I try to do that before I adhere anything down. That way I'm, uh, it makes it easier. If it gets too thick, it's hard to get it into that punch. So um, I'm also going to just fussy cut this door out just a little bit. Um, there was kind of a little border on there. And then I'm going to take this distressing tool. You could do this with the back of your scissors if you wanted to. Uh, just kind of rough up the edges because the, the picture itself looked like it was already distressed. And so I'm just kind of leaning into that. And then I'm going to use some archival ink in coffee to um, ink up all of these elements. Just to give them a little bit more dimension and kind of help them stand up off of the background. It's kind of a busy background, so any little bit that you can do to kind of help it stand up is just beneficial. So I'm just using this door image here. And again, you know, these don't have to make sense with like the title necessarily. I'm just decorating the card. And then I, off camera, I wrote out the scripture that coordinates on that journaling card. And that will go on the back side. So 
on the front I have the title and then the name of the book is on the little tab and then the scripture that coordinates with it is going to go on the back side and you can see I just used an old journaling card that I had left over again just really trying to use up my stash. This is a set of paper from another kit and I have this paper and I just um, it's actually one that I have already cut down so I'm just measuring it to see if I can use this scrap to create um, another card and it just happens to be just the right size so I'm going to be able to take this and fold it I just need to trim it down just ever so slightly um, on the top a little bit and um, so that will help me and then I'm actually using my um, my trimmer here to score along the edge of this paper, like I said, is really good quality paper. So sometimes having a score line in it just helps it fold a little bit better. So I just used my paper trimmer and my pen actually to score that line. Just made it a little bit easier to fold. And again, I'm gonna round the corners. I'll do that on all of the cards that I make for this just to kind of keep a consistent look to the, the cards. And then I'm gonna go ahead and punch the holes in the bottom here and then um, now I can glue that together and I struggled because I really liked both sides of this paper um, so I decided to make the tab out of um, basically what's the back side of this paper like the other side um, because th then I know that the colors are going to coordinate and everything so I'm going to add my glue here and I'm just adding liquid glue it just makes it a little bit easier when you're trying to kind of make sure that pieces are in there um, neatly gives you a second, you know, to kind of adjust them. So you can see me kind of fiddle with that. And then um, again, I'm gonna go through my stash of alpha stickers and I pulled out these, this pink set here and I am just writing um, or indicating that this is Exodus. I decided to just use the abbreviations because some of the books are going to be really long and too long for the tab punch. So I have a bunch of scraps here from this kit as well. And I wanted to keep this green. So I'm just using that cut, um, that paper that I trimmed down so that I can add this almost as like washi tape across the bottom here, just to give it a little bit more interest. And then I used this, um, this label and it says see also on it, but I went ahead and just, I'm going to cut that down. And that way I can put my title on there, which um, for this one is Passover Lamb. And I'm going to kind of fiddle with this part a little bit. Um, it took me a minute to kind of decide how I wanted to do this. I really wanted to use these pieces as well. Again, trying to use up these pieces from my kits. And so um, I really, there was um, one of them, a label that says forgiven. And I... I really liked the idea of putting this on the page, but the problem is because it's a darker color and the text is larger, it actually carries more visual weight when you're looking at the card. And I wanted the focus to be on the title, on Jesus's title, which is Passover lamb and not on the word forgiven necessarily. So um, you'll see me kind of fiddle with this. I'm gonna go ahead and glue down this um, floral piece. I just trimmed off the white that was at the very top so it looks like it went off the edge there. And then I'm going to glue these other pieces down and this little rainbow, I really loved this element. And then I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down. I, I went back and forth about this piece. I just wasn't sure about it. Um, and then I'm gonna glue the title down and then you'll see, I decide that it was just competing, that forgiven element was just competing too much. And so, I quickly pulled that off you, with the Barely Arts glue. You really don't have a whole lot of time. And so now I just felt like it needed something else down there on the bottom. So I was going to try to use the Save by Grace. But again, it was the same problem. It just had too much weight. So when I get stuck like that, I just move on to something else. So I just flipped the card over and I'm now I'm gluing down this journaling card uh, that has the scripture on it. And this one looks like a postcard, which I think is so cute. And... I have this other element here with this little lock and key that's heart shaped and I just decided to go ahead and use that. So I'm gluing this down it will kind of help balance out the bottom part of this card but it's not competing with the title anymore at least not in my eyes. So the next card I'm going to make is for Leviticus and I have these two papers. Now these are actually six by six in size. 
Um, so I'm going to trim them down, both of them individually. Stripes and flowers are a pad are patterns that I really like together. I like how they look together. And these are actually from two different kits. Um, one is from Psalms and one is from True North, I think. Um, anyway, so I went ahead and just trimmed them each down and then I'll go ahead and, and glue them back to back. And just as a side note, some of these paper pads that I'll be using, I think are still available actually on the By the Well for God website. I will link my affiliate link down below. Um, you can still see some of the like more recent paper pads. Some of these are a little bit older. Um, but if you're interested, again, I, I really love the, the quality of their paper, but um, a lot of these are just ones from from quite a while ago. So I decided to go ahead and cut some tabs also out of this pattern paper. And I did one out of the stripe and one out of the floral. And then I'm going to kind of, I'm going to glue those together, but on the opposite side. So the flower side will have the striped tab and then vice versa. And then I also had this tag from this kit and uh, it had a hole in it, obviously, because it was tab and, or tag. So I decided I would just add this little floral element to it. And then you'll never know that there was actually a hole there. It just kind of covered that up. And then I used the clear alpha stickers because I have a ton of those as well to um, write out the title, which for this particular book is High Priest. And then on the journaling card, I wrote out the scripture and I'm just going to tuck one of the floral elements kind of behind this journaling card. Sometimes I'll decorate the back and sometimes I won't. It just depends um, on this particular day. I or For this particular card, I just felt like adding that floral element back there and then I needed a little bit more glue. So that wraps up the cards I'm going to make for today. I will keep working on this, prog this um, project as time allows. So I'm just doing a little flip of the three and I'm gonna put them in my little memory box here. If you have any ideas or suggestions for future Can Mindy Make It videos, I would appreciate it if you leave that in the comments down below. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. That just helps other people find my channel as well. And until next time, bye.